वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यूनिट सेवन थर्मोडायनेमिक्स यूनिट सेवन थर्मोडायनेमिक्स इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच द मेजरमेंट ऑफ डेल यू द चेंज ऑफ इंटरनल एनर्जी एंड डेल हेच द चेंज ऑफ एंथल भी यूजिंग कलोरी मेट्रिक्स यूजिंग कलोरी मेट्रिक्स Radiometer is used for the measuring the amount of heat change. The measuring amount of heat change. Right. So, calorimeter is used for the measuring the amount of heat change in the physical and chemical process. Calorimetry. The Temperature change in the process is measured is directly proportional to heat capacity. Okay, so the Q is directly proportional to heat capacity M del T. Therefore, the heat capacity C is equal to Q by M del T. Q by M del T. So use in this. Equation to calculate the heat change of process. Okay, so the calorimetry measurements are measured by two different conditions. Two different conditions. One is there at constant volume, at constant volume using bomb calorimeter. At constant volume, at constant pressure using. Measured using the coffee cup calorimeter. Coffee cup calorimeter, right? So the first one is delu measurement using bomb calorimeter at constant volume. At constant volume, right? For chemical reactions, heat evolved at constant volume is measured in a bomb calorimeter. So for chemical reactions, the combustion reactions, heat evolved at constant volume. So constant volume is measured in the bomb calorimeter. Bomb calorimeter. The principle of bomb calorimeter. The principle of bomb calorimeter. The principle of bomb calorimeter. The heat released. The heat released fuel. The heat released fuel is equal to the heat gain. The heat gain by water. Okay, so heat released by fuel is is equal to heat gain by water plus calorie meter. Okay, the principle of bomb calorie meter. The principle the heat released by fuel. The heat released by the fuel is equal to heat gained by water plus calorie meter plus calorie meter. You right? So the inner vessel, the calorie meters, the inner vessel and its cover are made up of strong steel. Strong steel. You right? So the upper the bomb calorie meter. Okay, so the apparatus of bomb calorimeter, the inner vessels is a bomb. Are you right? So the ignition by a ignition by a stirrer, right? The oxygen supply area, thermometer. Okay, Beckman thermometer. Okay, short measurement of temperature. Okay, Beckman thermometer, the insulating jacket. Okay, so volume cannot change. Volume is constant. Okay, so heat energy cannot release the outer area, insulating jacket, and air space, air space. So volume cannot change. Bucket is a bucket. Water contains buckets. Heater. Okay, so the combustion of substance. Okay, heater. The steel bomb. The inner vessel is steel bomb. Inner vessel is steel box. Okay, the crucible. The substance contained. The platinum cup is a crucible. 
right? The sample already weighed organic substance, weighed substance, right? Sample ignition coil. So ignition coil. Are you right? So the inner vessel, the bomb. The inner vessel is bomb. The inner vessel and its cover are made up of strong steel. So cover made up of strong steel. The cover is fitted tightly to the vessel by means of metal lid and screw. Okay, so metal lid and screw use pani the tight up which is bomb. In a volume change up the constant volume. The weight amount of this substance already weighed. The weight amount of this substance is taken in a platinum cup. Taken in a platinum cup. The connected with electrical wires. Connected with the electrical wires for striking an arc ignition wires. The striking an arc instantly to kindle combustion. Are you right? The weight amount of substance is taken in a platinum cup. The connector with the electrical wires for striking on or instantly to kindle combustion. Right? So, the idea is that this electrical wire connect connected. Right? So, the bomb is then tightly closed. The bomb is then tightly closed. Okay, so how to close? The cover is fitted tightly to the vessel by means of metal lid and screws. Okay, the bomb is then tightly closed and pressurized with the excess oxygen. The bomb is tightly closed and pressurized and pressurized with the excess oxygen. Are you right? So, this is a platinum couple. We have a substance weight and weight. We have a electrical wire connected. We have a electrical wire connected. We have a connect tight up close. Close to the end of the day. High pressure level of oxygen. High pressure level of oxygen. Right? So, okay, students. The bomb is immersed in water. The bomb is. Immersed in water in the inner volume of the calorimeter. So, in a volume of the calorimeter, the bomb is immersed in water in the inner volume of the calorimeter. A stirrer is placed in the space between the wall of the calorimeter and the bomb. The stirrer is placed in the inner vessel wall and the space between the inner vessel wall and the Calorimeter. So the water can be stirred uniformly. So the water can be stirred uniformly. You right? Used in the stirrer, the used in the stirrer, the heat energy is absorbed in water. The heat energy is uniformly distributed. Uniformly distributed. Right? So the reaction is started by striking the substance through electrical heating. Okay? So the reaction is started. The reaction is started by striking the substance through electrical heating. Electrical heating. So a known amount of combustible substance, a known amount of combustible substance is burned in oxygen in the bomb. Right? So, weight amount of substance oxygen all burn all the this. The heat ever during the reaction is observed by the calorimeter as well as the water in which the bomb is immersed. Are you right? So, the bomb is immersed in water. So, in this process, the heat energy is released. The heat energy is released in calorimeter wall and the heat energy are also transferred from water. Are you right? So, the known amount of combustible substance is burned in oxygen in the bomb. 
the heat evolved during the reaction is absorbed by the calorimeter absorbed by the calorimeter and as well as the water in which the bomb is measured as well as the water are also attract the heat energy absorb the heat energy right the change in temperature is measured using beckman thermometer the change in temperature is using beckman thermometer since the bomb is sealed it is volume does not change are you right so the bomb is sealed so volume does not change and hence the heat measurement is equal to the heat of combustion and a constant volume okay so cannot change in volume the bomb calorimeter is completely sealed are you right so the amount of heat produced in the reaction the amount of heat produced in the reaction is equal to the sum of the heat absorbed by the calorimeter q1 calorimeter q1 and water q2 q2 right the amount of heat produced in the reaction is equal to the sum of the heat absorbed by the calorimeter so in this process the heat energy is absorbed by calorimeter and water so the amount of heat produced in the reaction is equal to the sum of the heat absorbed by the calorimeter and water so calorimeter q1 and water q2 right the first one the heat absorbed by the calorimeter first one the heat absorbed by the calorimeter so q1 is equal to k into del t you right k is a calorimeter constant k is a calorimeter constant and del t is equal to t2 minus t1 okay so before the process before the process the temperature is t1 in after the process after the process the temperature is t2 right t2 minus t1 is a temperature change the change of temperature del t is equal to t2 minus t1 right so k is a calorimeter constant so k is equal to mc into cc the mc is a mass of calorimeter mass of calorimeter and c is a heat capacity of calorimeter it's a constant value okay so taken in any substance the k value is constant the calorimeter constant can be determined by burning a known mass of standard sample benzoic acid the benzoic acid burn c6 H5 COOH plus oxygen to give water and carbon dioxide. Water and carbon dioxide. Okay, how many carbon? Six carbon six. Right, six plus one seven carbon seven. Seven carbon so seven. Six plus one seven carbon. How many hydrogen? Five plus one six. 3 into 2 6 7 plus 2 14 14 plus 3 17 oxygen in the product side 17 oxygen but in reactant side 2 okay so benzoic acid having 2 oxygen so remaining 15 oxygen so 15 by 2 okay so multiply with 2 2 multiply with 2 so cancel 2 so plus 15 2 15 so multiply with 2 6 multiply with 2 14 okay in this process in this combustion process the del h value is exothermic process so minus 3227 kilojoule mole inverse kilojoule mole inverse right so the k is here calorimetric constants is the equal to the product of 
the mass of calorimeter and heat capacity of calorimeter. All right, Q1. The heat absorbed by the water, Q2. The heat absorbed by the water, Q2, is equal to, is equal to MWO, CWO into del T. So, MWO is a molar mass of water. Molar mass of water. So, 18 gram per mole. Molar mass of water, 18 gram per mole. And molar heat capacity of water. The molar heat capacity of water, 75.29 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Are you right? So, Q2 is equal to the uh, product of molar mass of water, 18 gram per mole and molar mass of molar heat capacity. So, molar heat capacity of water, 75.29 joule Kelvin inverse, mole inverse and T2 minus T1. Right? The internal energy change del U. Are you right? So, the internal energy del U is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Q1 plus Q2. Right? So, Q1 is equal to K into del T. And Q2 is equal to MWO, CWO into del T. Okay. So, the common in del T. So, K plus MWO, CWO into del T. Right? So, K is a calorimeter function. In MWO, molar mass of water. And CWO, 75.29 joule Kelvin inverse, mole inverse. The molar heat capacity of water and del T, T2 minus T1 in the calorimeter process. Right? So, the enthalpy of combustion at constant pressure of the substance is del H0 calorimeter. Constant pressure. A constant pressure. The enthalpy change. Standard enthalpy change of the calorimeter. Right? Is equal to the del U naught internal standard internal change standard internal change plus del N G into R T R is a case constant so T temperature T is a temperature right so del N G so del N G is a the total number of moles of the total number of moles of reactant minus total number so total number of moles of Product minus the total number of reactants in gaseous space, right? For example, benzoic acid. In a gaseous benzoic acid. Gaseous benzoic acid, gas, hydrogen liquid, and oxygen, carbon dioxide is gas. So del and G. So del and G is equal to the number of moles of product. Okay, the molar concentration of liquid is equal to 1. Are you right? So, the so molar concentration of liquid. Del NG is equal to 0 in liquid. Del NG is 0. Okay, so molar concentration of liquid and solid, 1. So, del NG value is 0. So, not gas, liquid. Right? So, 14 minus 14 minus so, 15 plus 2, 17. 15 plus 2, 17. That is equal to minus 3. Minus 3 in del NG value. In benzoic acids, right? So, del H naught is equal to del U naught plus del NG or T. So, using the bar calorimeter to measure the internal energy change. To measure internal energy change. Okay. Using this equation to measure the enthalpy change. Standard enthalpy change. You right? Okay, students. The application of bomb calorimeter. Application of bomb calorimeter. The bomb calorimeter is used to determine the amount of heat released in combustion reaction. The amount of heat released in combustion reaction. So, right? It is used to determine the calorific value of food. The calorific value of food. For example, 100 gram of brown rice.
the 100 gram of brown rice gives 370 calories long grain okay so 100 gram of brown rice gives 370 calories the 100 gram of white rice the 100 gram of white rice gives 239 229 calories 230 or 229 calories right so it is used to determine the calorific value of food the third one is the used in the bond calorimeter used in many industries such as metabolic study food processing and explosive testing etc right okay students the next one is the delgate measurement using coffee cup calorimeter the calorimetric measurements are man constant pressure so using coffee cup calorimeters the principle of coffee cup calorimeters in principle of coffee cup calorimeter the heat raised the heat released by fuel is equal to heat gained by water only but in bomb calorimeter the principle heat released by fuel is equal to heat gained by water plus calorimeter but in coffee cup calorimeter the heat released by fuel is equal to the heat gained by water only you right so coffee cup calorimeter the stirrer the thermometer buckman thermometers the insulated toppers insulated toppers and nested insulated cups the heat energy cannot go and go out in in go out and in right so reaction mixer reaction mixer for example the calcium chloride mixed with water the combining of calcium chloride and water gives hydrochloric acid and calcium oxide calcium oxide this combining reaction is exothermic reaction the delgate is equal to minus 80 kilojoule mole inverse minus 80 kilojoule mole inverse the energy is observed only in water are you right so the heat change at constant pressure the heat change at constant pressure atmospheric pressure can be measured using a coffee cup calorimeter coffee cup calorimeter the instead of bomb the instead of bomb a styrofoam cup polystyrene made up of polystyrene the styrofoam cup is used in this the calorimeter the styrofoam cup used in this calorimeter it act as a good adiabatic wall so act as a good adiabatic wall and does not allow transfer of transfer of heat produced during the reaction to its surrounding are you right is a adiabatic means adiabatic cup are you right so adiabatic cup does not allow transfer of heat produced during the reaction to its surrounding are you right this entire heat energy is absorbed by the water inside the cup are you right this entire heat energy is absorbed by the water in inside the cup this method can be used for the reactions where there is no appreciable change in volume okay so the volume are also not changed okay so insulated toppers right the nested insulated cups so volume cannot change right the change in the temperature of water is measured and used to calculate the amount of heat that has been observed or evolved 
in an exothermic process so heat energy is released suppose the endothermic process glucose and water the heat energy is absorbed so the absorbed or evolved in the reaction using the following expression so q is equal to mw cw del t in mw molar mass of water and cw the molar heat capacity of water 75.29 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse right del t is t2 minus t1 okay so the heat energy of water in before the reaction and after the reaction before the reaction the temperature is t1 in after the reaction the temperature is t2 so t2 minus t1 is equal to del t the temperature change temperature change right okay students so example sum the calculate the enthalpy of combustion of ethylene so enthalpy of combustion del h del h of ethylene c2 h4 at 300 kelvin at constant pressure if it is heat of combustion at constant volume del u is minus 1406 kJ so exothermic process right so the heat of combustion reaction of ethylene c2 h4 ethylene in gas state reacts with the oxygen so combustion with the oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water carbon dioxide and water so carbon dioxide gas state h2o liquid all right how many carbon in react inside two carbon so two carbon how many hydrogen four hydrogen so two four how many oxygen in product side four plus two six oxygen so three okay so oxygen are also gas state okay so given value del u del u is equal to minus 1406 1406 kilo joule mole inverse kilo joule mole inverse the del h is equal to what del h is equal to what in del h is equal to del u plus rt del ng rt del ng so r is equal to 8.314 in the 10 power minus 3 kilo joule mole inverse kelvin inverse kilo joule mole inverse kelvin inverse t is equal to 300 kelvin t is equal to 300 kelvin del ng del ng is equal to the total number of moles of product minus the total number of moles of reactant at gas state right so del h is equal to the number of moles of product so h2o is a liquid so del h value is 0 so carbon dioxide 2 minus in reactant side 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 1 4 is equal to minus 2 minus 2 right so therefore del h is equal to del u Minus thousand four hundred and six minus thousand four hundred and six kilojoule mole inverse kilojoule mole inverse right plus R eight point three one four eight point three one four into ten power minus three kilojoule mole inverse Kelvin inverse right into T three hundred Kelvin into del N G minus two minus two right that is equal to minus one four zero six kilo joule mole inverse mole inverse right so three into three hundred three into ten power two ten power two ten power minus three 
So 10 power minus 1. 10 power minus 1 into 3, 0 0.3. 0 0.3 into 2, 0 0.6. Right? So 0 0.6 and 8.314. So, 8314 into 6. 6 into 4, 24. 168. 6 into 3, 18. Okay, so 8 into 6, 48. 48 plus 1, 49. Right? 4.98. Are you right? So, minus 2. So, minus. Plus minus 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 four point nine eight minus four point nine eight eight four that is equal to minus minus one four zero six point zero zero and four point nine eight four point nine eight so eight nine eight nine 0, 1, 1, 4. Right? Del H is equal to Del H is equal to minus 1410.98 kilojoule mole inverse. Kilojoule mole inverse. Right? So, the enthalpy of combustion of ethylene. The enthalpy of combustion of ethylene is equal to minus 1410.98 kilojoule mole inverse. So, delgate value is negative. So, exothermic reaction. The combustion of ethylene reaction is exothermic. So, all the combustion reaction is exothermic reaction. Right? Okay, students. Thank you, students. We will meet next class.